you have confidence, you can, there's nothing much you can't do. Whether or not other people believe in you when you believe in yourself, like no one can touch you. When I was in high school, I never felt like I was performing at my potential, my full potential. One day my French teacher kept me after class and she was like, you have a really good ear for language. It's the reason I got to study abroad in Paris. It's the reason that I'm so fascinated by language now and I'm constantly writing music. All because this one teacher noticed something and her being vocal about it, it changed the direction of my life. I used to always like freestyle and you know saying some really slick stuff and then getting incredible responses from the crowd like oh you just got played by a girl she said that ah. it was feeding my ego I kept I kept doing it but I got really really good at it and then before you know it an artist out of Harlem he was like yo let's write a song he said, you can't just call yourself Amanda Carter, like that's not a rap name. And then he was like, you should call yourself 330. He said it jokingly, but it stuck. So I was like, yeah. Matter of fact, I am gonna call myself 330. I always wrote, I always kept a notebook, notebooks in fact. While I was in law school, I, I had songs in my head. You know, I had to start jotting down lyrics in the middle of my lectures. It's like my, my brain, my mind was being filled with lyrics it was really strange then when I graduated from law school I went to the studio and I recorded my first mixtape sorry I'm late it was an incredible feeling to be on stage and to be reciting this music that had been in my head for so long and then you know finally get it out and other people had appreciated it enough that they were listening and they had memorized the lyrics it was like it was a high and I've just been trying to recreate it ever since. I'm not to you. I'm already cool. I'm like the black kid at your private school. I gave you to be able to, to put something into the world that other people respond to, positively or negatively, like that's a really empowering feeling. And I really, really, really want, I want the youth of Harrisburg to feel as empowered as I do. I have this project called City Art Space. I asked my principal and vice principal at the time if I could start an after school program, like a music program. I wanted the kids to be able to write their own album and then have a tangible copy of an album that they did in their hands. Would you even look my way? The kids are conceptualizing, they're writing albums, you know, using the importance and the power of music and the arts to influence kids in the city. Open the minds of young people in Harrisburg to the arts and to literature and just make them aware of how many doors the arts can open for you. I feel so amazing, my body's so crazy. How thinking critically and creatively can change your whole entire world. You know I like you, but you keep on playing games. The one child in particular literally start walking with her head raised more. She knows that she did a great job performing. She saw the way the audience responded, and she felt good about it. We have these tenets that we try to focus on, messaging, number one. The message that is coming from your music is something that's positive. We're not gonna create a story that's not our own story and pretend as if it is our story because there's plenty of people that will be able to relate to you individually as a person when you are your authentic self. In my experience, watching these kids, eventually they get it. You know what I mean? And, and that's a beautiful thing to watch. Yeah, thank you. Summer League on three, one, two, three. HBG Summer League, yeah. Start short even when it before you That just means we're bad, 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 bad Good at what we do okay. All over the world They say, girl, you got that juice you can find my work at my website, 330-FFICIAL.com, 330official.com, or youtube.com slash 330music. Yep, I'm everywhere. <laughs>